for the day for May the 23rd. Today's readings, Joshua 9, Isaiah 13, 1 Timothy 4 and 5. Today's theme, I will punish the world for its evil. God's revelation of the future to Isaiah clearly has an application beyond the future that faced God's nation during and soon after the prophet's own day. Ignoring the chapter break between today and tomorrow's chapters, 13 and 14, we read, It's time close at hand, and its days will not be prolonged. For the Lord will have compassion on Jacob, and will again choose Israel, and will set them in their own land. This is an event we are witnessing. Chapter 13 contains many verses which are parallel to what we have just been reading in 1 Thessalonians 5, such as verse 2, about the day of the Lord. The awesome events at the climax of the ages are highlighted in the sayings of Jesus, e.g. Luke 21, verse 25. We read in Isaiah, Behold, the day of the Lord comes, cruel, with wrath and fierce anger, for the stars of the heavens and their constellations will not give their light. The sun will be dark at its rising, and the moon will not shed its light. I will punish the world for its evil, verses 9 to 11. Verse 13 tells of a time when the earth will be shaken out of its place at the wrath of the Lord of hosts in the day of his fierce anger. This makes us think of the final mighty earthquake the world will experience as predicted in Revelation 16, verse 18. A great earthquake, such as there had never been since man was on the earth. When we then read in chapter 14 in Isaiah, We see this as surely being part of the vision of the climax of present human life on earth. Some particular evil man is involved. We read about a man who made the earth tremble, who shook kingdoms, who made the earth like a desert and overthrew its cities. Verses 16 and 17. We ponder world events and the potential for possession of nuclear power in the hands of certain leaders and how they might use them. The other side of this picture is that of the Lord and the weapons of his indignation, 13 verse 5, so that the righteous say of this latter-day king of Babylon, how the oppressor has ceased, the insolent fury ceased. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked, 14 verses 4 and 5, especially the man who caused extreme trembling. But at that time, the house of Israel will rule over those who oppress them, verse 2. After we have been awed by what God inspired Isaiah to write, We balance this with our chapters from Paul's letter to Timothy, that godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. 1 Timothy 4 verse 8. He tells Timothy, Keep close watch on yourself and on the teaching. Persist in this, for by so doing you will save both yourself and your hearers. Verse 16. As God's punishments increase on this world and then reach a climax, we must, more than ever, keep a close watch on ourselves. We do hope you found today's thought for the day helpful as we seek together to look into its pages and to find the message that God has for us. Join us again tomorrow when we look for another thought for the day from his word.